Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. It's been a while since I made the video. And I feel like I'm always saying this now, but it has actually been a while. Like my ears are kind of hot from the truth, because I'm telling the truth right now. Um, Happy New Year, question mark. Um, I don't even know how to even start this video, to be honest, because like, I just, I don't know. I don't know, like, I remember a video that I made this time last year where I was talking, I can't remember who exactly I was speaking with, if it was Iman, my best friend, or Moses, I was talking to one of these two people and I was lamenting about how, like, my 2016 was not as bad as, like, I don't get why everybody's, like, complaining about 2016, that my 2016 was amazing, yada, 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 yada. Oof. I'm not even going to bother looking for the video because I feel like seeing that video would probably, like, aggravate me, but I'm here to tell you guys that 2017, the Lord humbled your sister. Like, I was, I was humbled in a very very magnificent way like my 2017 was what most people would refer to as a series of unfortunate events now although there was like maybe a 20 percent there was like 20 percent of 20 percent of things that happened were not my fault the remaining 80 percent were based on decisions that I made thinking that I could play God in my own life, thinking that I did not need God to lead me, like I could be in control of a lot of things. And I ended up making so many bad decisions that um, I actually have a post about this on my blog right now. It was a collaboration with Jasmine from jasminewrites.com. And we're talking about overcoming. I had to like... I feel like the spirit of God actually laid that title in my in my mind because <laughs> when we we're looking for a title, like I had already named my draft "Overcoming 2017" because that was legitimately what was on my mind. So now, where do we start from? I feel like it's a situation where I started this year pretty strong mentally. Like I started thinking like this is about to be like a really good year. I started saying I'm going to achieve this. I'm going to achieve that. And a lot of the things that I said I wanted to achieve were I don't say inconsequential because like they they might be consequential but for somebody like me they were things that like could really have fallen to the wayside. You know? Like, for example, one of my New Year's resolutions was to, like, lose three inches off my waist. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the New Year's resolutions that I made, but because of the type of person I am and the things that I should have been looking towards first, like, looking back at my New Year's resolutions, I'm just thinking to myself, girl, really? Like, I had, like, resolutions that had to do with, like, social media, which is fine because like at the end of the day it's something that I'm passionate about. But like like I was saying, like there are so many things that I left out when I was trying to talk to God about the things that I wanted. In fact, I don't remember if there was ever a point in time that I felt like there was a need, even the newest resolutions that I wrote down, I don't know if there's point in time I felt like there was a need to even pray to God and tell God, you know, so this is what I'm looking for this year how you feel about it, like, can we collab on this, no, guys, no, I just went in full steam ahead, and it's a situation where, man, I don't know how else to say it. it's like, I've definitely been through the ringer this year, emotionally, spiritually, I think the only thing, even to an extent academically, because the only thing that I feel like may not have been touched by this. In fact, I feel like God God showed himself in every aspect of my life. Like, he humbled me in every aspect of my life. There was nothing. And that is the thing, isn't it? There was nothing that he did not touch. There was nothing he did not touch. When I was feeling like, yeah, like, I beg, please, I got this. He would just be like, mm -mm -mm. but wait, but wait. Do, do you got this? Like, you think you can get this without me? I legitimately just forgot 
as sad as it sounds i legitimately forgot to involve god in my 2017 and it showed all through the year for me and i think like i was kind of just bearing a lot of stuff like i was just bearing it bearing it bearing it up till like the second half of the year when i realized like slowly very slowly like even close to the end of the year so not even the second half of the year close to the end of the year i'm being all the way real with you and i started to think oh wow like i've actually stopped like praying except when i pray with my mom for me it's almost like rudimentary like it's almost like a thing that we do so like it wasn't like individual on my own i wasn't praying i can't remember the last time i had like quiet time it was just like my life was a mess and i was just kind of living every day without any real direction like i knew the things i wanted to do and i knew the things i didn't want to do but none of the things i wanted to do were necessarily based on benefiting god or even like showing his hand in anybody else's life it was more like a lot of things on test to be honest were kind of like superficial yeah and lots of things that i placed like emphasis on as well it was not until something really really drastic happened to me this year on the emotional front that kind of got me thinking about my decision making processes about the things that i felt were important to me about the people around me that i thought were important to me and i just had to start even before the introduction of the god factor into this i i kind of already mentally started to see if i could seek some level of self-improvement on my own which is another thing that we all do it's so easy to forget unless something is so drastically bad it's so easy to forget that you can just actually call on god and ask for assistance and it got to the point where at this end of the year which is what i said in the post i found myself in a situation where i had to cut somebody off and not just like a random person that i just talked to like on a regular day like i had to cut somebody off that i communicated with quite frequently and it had been so long since it was like a unique kind of pain i'm sure like you guys can relate if you had to cut off a friend or even like go through a breakup or anything like that like in that realm of like ending a friendship or a relationship it's like a unique kind of pain and it's not really that it's better or worse than any other kind of pain but it's just different and with everything else that i felt was going on in the year like that was the point in time that was my breaking point where i just had to be like god <laughs> i need your help i'm desperate i need your assistance I need you to step in now and one of the first things that I started praying for which if you follow me on social media I think I've been dropping hints about here here and there is peace and a peace that surpasses human understanding and that peace was meant to or is meant to encompass you forgiving yourself for any mistakes that you've made that God has already forgiven you for you moving past situations where you've had to make tough decisions that you'd ordinarily not want to make you having to adjust to things that you did not think that you would ever have to adjust to like this just sense of peace that reminds you that everything is going to be okay so i guess it's kind of connected to joy you know like when you have this joy that no matter what is happening right now you know that you will overcome the peace that is connected to that and i started praying for that and praying for that and praying for that and praying for that and I prayed for it for such a long time and it almost felt like I could feel myself kind of get elevated and get lifted up and as I kept on doing that I I found a way to kind of start incorporating other things into my prayers I remember um, one time when I was complaining on insta live that I couldn't pray and so many of you gave so many amazing suggestions people asked me to watch sermons people asked me to i can't remember um listen to gospel music and stuff like that and there's a verse in the bible which i can't remember now but for some reason i don't know i can't remember if it's because i'm making this video because almost every time i'm praying i kind of call upon it which basically says if you do not know how to pray you should ask the holy spirit to help you pray so um 
I kind of started to do that as well. I kind of started to remove the doctrine part of my prayer life and make it more of like a conversation type thing. Like I would wake up and be like, good morning, God. Today, this, this, this. I had to be like brutally honest with myself because there were things I needed. There were things that I needed to be improved. There were lights that I needed to be shown in dark places in my life. And I was not about to be doing this rudimentary. I thank you for this. I think like it required like real conversation. And a lot of times as that went on, I definitely did feel better. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, a lot of like my really tight, like some of my best friends, we've all been going through the same things at almost the same time. So it was a situation where there was not really one person to lift the other person up or anything like that, even though now, thank God, I find myself in a situation where I can now do a little bit of the uplifting and I thank God for that. And I'm not even taking responsibility for that because I don't really know how that happened, you know? But, and then recently, um, one day I was going through my Bible app, maybe like a couple of weeks ago, I think it was like three weeks or so now. I was going through my Bible app and it's the U version one and there's something like called plans and I think I had gone through it before and I tried it before but it just didn't work for me. And basically what the plans are, are like they're like mini devotionals. So one can last for like seven days, one can last for a year, one can last for two years, three years. But it just depends like what can last for one day three days and i started to like fervently search for the things i needed like things like maybe that have to do with friendship things that have to do with love things that have to do with growth in general and i found myself finding so much comfort in other people's word because it's a thing where they get excerpts from different christian books they match it up to the bible verses that concern it and they just put it all together for you so every day you have something to read to motivate you to inspire you and i started to hold on to the word of god and i'm still working on that now and even as i will make this video my grandfather passed away literally like maybe like 24 this was over 24 hours ago and it's been tough like it's unfortunate that at the age I'm at, this is not the first death in my family. It's not the second and it's not the... Because, like, it's the third. So for me, and the first one, which was my dad's, brought about so many traumatic experiences for me. Like, in the long run, I'm talking, like, five years ahead and stuff like that. But in as much as I do feel the sadness and I am letting myself feel the sadness, there is a sense of peace that comes along with it. And I know for a fact that it's not because I'm older, it's not because I'm stronger, it's not because he was older than like my dad when my dad passed or anything like that, but it is purely up to God. And that is why I'm making this video because my new year resolution for next year, if you're on my Snapchat, you probably already know because I posted it and I'll, I'll probably post it even more, is to create this relationship again with God like my 2018 is going to be a permanent collaboration and hopefully more years to come will be permanent collaborations with God because I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get back on my feet in a way that is sustainable and in a way that is pleasing to him because Moses and I have conversations all the time where we're talking about how like there are certain things that like everything everything in life basically that you want to do you have to constantly ask yourself like if god was there like would you do this or like how would god feel how is it pleasing to god how does it affect how people see god and stuff like that and that is one thing that i want to achieve i'm still going to probably make a video about other new year resolutions as time goes along but for me it's a new year resolution but i've already started it so it's not really a new year resolution i'm going to go even harder in 2018 but i've already started the work on myself from now and um yeah i just kind of want to tell you guys where my head was at this video really has no rhyme or reason except for me to kind of express myself and just tell you that's like like i said in most people's standards i had a really shitty year like i can't even i can't even tell you guys the things that i did wrong this year not because i don't even want to or not because i'm 
still like ashamed or upset but because there are other people involved so i can't just be like you know giving gist but honestly i just never thought i would get to the point where like when you feel so confident that you know yourself and then you end up doing things that are so unlike your character and you're just like but honestly sometimes that is the wake-up call that you need that is the wake-up call that you need and honestly I'm happy to be awake it's so nice to be awake and I hope that I can sustain this awakeness and um, another reason why I'm putting this out there is so that I can also not only hold myself accountable but so that the people that watch this can also hold me accountable for my actions for um, my words for my you can't hold me accountable for my thoughts obviously but yes um that's basically it guys it's probably like a really weird slash random video but it feels right i felt like i had to make a video telling you guys about how god hijacked my 2017 <laughs> about how god hijacked me and hijacked my 2017 that's probably what I'm going to name this video, How God Hijacked My 2017. Um, yes, if you would like to read my post as well, which goes into like a little more detail, as well as shares like tips, like advice in general that I have learned this year, don't forget to check out ironbrownie.com. I will leave a direct link in the description bar so you can check it out. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing more talking videos. I'm most likely going to be treating this channel the way I did brownie diaries where I was actually just like documenting myself and not necessarily trying to entertain people because I think that's kind of who I am like I'm not necessarily doing this for anybody else besides myself and obviously now besides myself and God, God and myself so yes um you'll probably be seeing a lot of these really random videos of me just talking just what I love to do so um yes thank you guys so much for watching if you got to the end you're like the realest OG in life and before I leave as usual I want to say that you are sugar you are spice and you are bomb ass jello fries bye